Welcome back to another weekly vlog. This is weekly vlog number 11. If you are here for the first time, welcome. And if you are a regular subscriber, welcome back. You melt the ice behind my stone cold eyes. I turn the ashes, but only just sometimes. Inhale your smoke, but you still act surprised. It's not my fault when you call me crazy now, but you don't understand I'm calling out to you, can you hear a thing? Cause you lit the match, that ignites the flame I'm the TNT, but you're the spark to blame And it's fire, burning holes inside my brain Feel the fire, keep the melters down again Good morning, it's 9.12 a.m. Thursday morning and this is vlog number 11. I just want to say welcome to another weekly vlog. I went to bed pretty late last night. I was trying to get some work done. But when I saw that it was almost 2 o'clock and I didn't show her to go to bed or anything, I knew it was going to be a super late one. I said, it's best I go get some rest, get up this morning and try to get some stuff done. So I want to post a reel today. I'm not sure what I'm going to post. I'm not very organized with this week's content. I have another round of Timo videos and have you guys seen my timu videos guys you need to go and watch my timu videos but they're on instagram and tiktok so that's where i have my uh collaboration with them with tiktok and the campaign is with tiktok and instagram so you can go check out the first three that i did for them on my instagram at the aria designs and if you're not following it please follow and on tiktok the array designs as well so yeah that's what's up so i have a second round of a campaign that i'm doing i also have a diy that i'm super excited to do but it involves my husband that's the only reason why i'm not sure if i'm gonna totally get him because he's always super busy but i don't want to spill the beans but i got part of what i needed already i have paint i have some lighting i need to go to home depot to get some wood and i need to go to walmart and get some round pieces so i am trying to make a lamp a pair of lamps so there there you have it i told you i I'm excited about it, a little nervous, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. So that's one I, one thing I want to work on. I also need to know, do a new wreath for my front door. I'm sick and tired of seeing that one. It's okay, but I just think it's time for a change. So it even though it's summer, I didn't change around my tablescape for summer because the one I have is so beautiful. It's like it's hard to top that one for my formal dining. But um, that's something I'm going to work on in the next couple of weeks. A new tablescape. But for this weekend, I felt like I didn't do any DIYs last weekend. Last weekend, I was really mostly focused on prepping for the book launch. My husband's book launch. If you guys have not checked it out yet, there's a recording of my husband's book launch and rec um, reading and signing on the channel. Just click under the live videos and you will see. We went live. Family members and friends from Jamaica and across the US, you guys were so kind. You guys were so supportive. It was such a beautiful event and I'm still so proud. And I just want to say, guys, if you have not seen the video of the book launch, go ahead and watch it in the time that you have. Anyway, guys, it was nice talking with you this morning. And once again, welcome to vlog number 11. <laughs> and as much as sometimes I feel tired and frustrated, I feel sometimes like I'm robbing you guys of good content in my vlog. 
but it is a vlog guys and it is supposed to be reflecting what's happening i try not to plan too much for the vlog but at the same time putting some kind of plans in place for the vlog makes it intentional and interesting and it keeps me accountable that i'm not just passing by the days and not getting stuff done for my nine to five as well as for my content creation so guys thank you for being there helping me to be accountable let me get into my day let me just um, quickly freshen up and let me make my bed freshen up and get to my desk see you guys later
okay guys so i want to shoot a reel to i want to post a reel today and i'm thinking that i would do one of those towel folds okay so i am shooting my bye bye blemish reel i have some shots already but i just need to do the face shots now i'm actually applying the product to my face and i want to do it in my powder room downstairs but my powder room has black and white has a black and white theme with a pop of pink and i want the background for the bye bye blemish to be spa like and all white and probably with just a little pop of grass for serenity so i need some white towels to go in that powder room for the purpose of that shoot because i want a clean white spa like background right i need some white towels i also have a product from another amazon store where it's a towel rack that i'm going to paint a part of my bathroom white it needs painting anyways so i just use these um campaigns to promote not to promote but to encourage me to get stuff done that i'm putting off so in my bathroom my master bathroom i'm going to be painting doing some white wall painting i need the white towels for two campaigns one for the amazon store with a towel rack that i was gifted and also one for the spa like feel in the powder room same towels i'm going to be using and i need a reel for today so i'm just going to grab the towels i'm not going to need them anyway to shoot those other two campaigns so i'm going to get those towels right now shoot a shoot a folding organization video with them so i'm killing three birds with one stone i'm going to jump into at home to see if i can get something that looks of better quality than i normally pick up at walmart and yeah that's where i'm going now i just dropped my son he works next door to, at home so i'm gonna run in real quick because i gotta get back to my desk it's now 10 08 so let's see how quickly i can do this i look at you and it's easy to see you are that someone i've been trying to meet i got your number won't you pick up the phone don't leave me hanging on the dial tone think back to the night that we met jumping in the pool talk to you dripping wet nervous when i speak so i trip on my tongue never thinking you will be my number one nervous when i speak so i trip on my tongue never thinking you will be my number one
Okay guys, so that took me 25 minutes only because I found some really nice quality hand towels and they cost like $8.99 each but they're really pluffy and hotel quality. The rags however that I picked up that were in the same family were the same $8.99 each when I got to the counter. I'm like no! That's crazy. I'm not gonna spend the same amount of money for two wash rags as I'm spending for two hand towels. It just didn't make any sense. So I went back. I had to go back. So that's why it took me 20 minutes. I was going really quick. I took up a pillow. I swear I was gonna take it, but I put it back because I didn't come in here for pillows, to be honest, and I can wait. Um, so I went back to see if I could find better options for wash rags and I saw some options for hand towels that were two dollars less but guys I had to also think about the shade of white so the rags that I got were kind of more off whitey I think so I went back up to the counter because she still had my goods at the counter I went back up to the counter to compare the first hand towels with the second hand towels and to compare the rag color with the two sets of hand towels so the rag color i got a batch of four rags for 3.99 instead of getting one rag for 8.99 are you kidding me i must be a dodo i must be a dumb dumb to for them to think that i was going to not shop around and get that deal anyways i didn't take the second set of hand towels for 6.99 although they were cheaper but they looked cheaper and I was concerned about that. The other one was way more plush and I thought was worth the $8.99 each. So that's what I did. I could have gotten hand towels at Walmart for I think $3 or $4, but they're so thin. Sometimes I get those because it doesn't really matter, but it matters this time because I'm putting it in my guest powder room my powder room downstairs where anybody comes to the house that's what they use so i want i always like to put my best foot forward whenever it has something to do with the public or common areas in the home so i'm heading back to the house but i need to get some gas so i'm gonna stop at the gas station real quick and then head on back to my desk I am going to get a lot of work done today. I feel it. I know it. I'm going to shoot this reel, but it's not going to take me too long. But I think I'm going to do some work first before, you know, I'm not going to fall into that trap where, oh, let me just go do this quick and go do my work. I'm going to do my work, take a break, have some cappuccino and create the reel and post it. Then get back to work. That's a better plan in my mind where I can really be productive and not be procrastinative productive like productive productive and not procrastinative productive okay guys I'm here at the gas station
Good afternoon, it's 12.34 p.m. on a Friday and I had my meeting this morning, had a long call with my family in Jamaica and my sister in Boston, we were in like a three weeks and I got some work done, I was getting a little cold in the AC inside and said outside wasn't, the sun wasn't blazing so I said let me change up the scene a little bit and see how I feel probably for I'm working on a list of stuff until I finish this list and then I go back inside but the sun just came out really bad but I still don't want to go back inside so I came into the shade a little bit so I'm gonna see if I can finish up with this particular task and then I go back inside it's a little chilly in the AC um, but yeah plans for today I have some work to do obviously I need to get my vlog edited not so sure what time it's going to be uploaded today but I don't pressure myself anymore on a Friday to get my vlog uploaded by five o'clock because it's just really too frustrating and sometimes I don't get it done on time I have to be apologizing to the subscribers so I decided that I will upload on Friday even if it's late I'll get it done so just to kind of give myself some grace and not to pressure myself too much and I also realized that I have a wedding to attend I'm not going to go for the entire thing but I thought the wedding was going to be on Saturday and I wasn't planning on going but I realized it's this evening so I should be able to pop in so that's another thing added to my schedule that I didn't have but I think it's important for me to turn up it's a beautiful young lady that I know well and I want to just kind of show up on behalf of the family so yeah that's the plan for today so it's now 12 36 i'm gonna try to see if i can wrap up what i'm doing in terms of work work at two o'clock if i can be at a good place at two o'clock i can start editing my vlog because at 4 30 i should start getting ready because the wedding is at six that's the plan for today and i will talk to you guys later okay guys so i am going to a wedding and i just got some dresses from sheen so i just grabbed one of them uh, i don't want to be too dressed up but i still want to look like i'm making an effort what your girl was thinking but some of these dresses are tops now they just got converted because i don't know where your girl thought she was going in some of those things but when that time comes you guys will see but for now this is one of the 
the better picks. So I didn't go all bad with them. And sometimes you have to be creative when something doesn't fit the way you expect. So that's what's basically going to happen with that sheen on. Doesn't even make sense I send them back because they're so inexpensive. And the truth is, I can use them as other kind of clothing. Yeah, so I'm trying to do my makeup. It's now 5 o'clock, the event is at 6. I want to leave at 5 30 now because the place is that far away because I need to drop my son.
beautiful guys um, helping a little bit with a cocktail and then I'm gonna be out here but look at my outfit dresses from Sheen shoes Steve Madden I left my bag inside I'll show you when I get back in the car but okay guys so my feet hurt I need to get my flat shoes. This is ridiculous. Okay, good morning guys. It's 10.46 on Saturday morning. I got up from about seven o'clock because yesterday I had to go to a wedding. So the time that I would typically like wrap up, like I normally do work, like my office nine to five job. I normally kind of stop working a little early on a Friday to edit my vlogs. So I haven't been uploading my vlogs by 5 p.m. anymore. I just don't want to give myself that kind of pressure so whenever I'm done I'm done I try to make it on Fridays I usually do even if it's late but I had a wedding and by the time I got home and ate something I continued editing the vlog and I fell asleep so I got up early this morning at about 7 and was editing you know tightening up it takes a little time guys to edit the vlogs um, it's not the hardest thing but the vlog is long and there it's raw and it's so unedited that you have to be careful so you have to edit <laughs> so I finished editing putting music on you know I'm trying to do better at editing so my husband told me do not rush it's better the vlog is late and crisp crispy clean 
then you rush it and it shows. So I'm not perfect, but I'm really trying to take the time to edit better, get better at editing. So I just uploaded the vlog, weekly vlog number 10. I uploaded it about 10 o'clock, but I, I start, when I upload the, the vlogs, what I start doing is I, I upload it to do it private and watch it myself and if there's anything i still need to fix i can edit some stuff in youtube so go ahead and do that so it's just made available at about 10 45 a.m so guys the vlog is up i know you're seeing this like probably a week later but i i'm just letting you know that i'm just checking in with you because i was editing and uploading and all that nice good stuff so i'm gonna go to the gym right now and i'm at the gym right now actually in the car and i'm gonna go work out i will see you guys later i have a diy that i don't want to work on but i mean need my husband's help and he's at work right now and when he comes home he might not be in the mood to be doing a diy but let's see what happens i still need to get some more equipment so i equipment What do you call stuff? Items that I use to make stuff. So I still need to get a piece of board, a piece of um, thin board. I still need to get a flat piece that you normally use for decor, like making wreaths and stuff. And I need to work on my wreath. I need to do something different. I'm sick and tired of that wreath now. It's there for too many months. Nothing is wrong with it. I'm just tired of it. So I need to figure out if I should get florals. Work on a wreath. Because if I'm to wait on my husband, I might not get the other DIY done right away. But I need... I don't know if I'm going to use spray paint or paint paint. I think I'm going to use paint paint. I'm trying to create a lamp, guys, using LED lights. And I want to do a pair of them to put in my family room. But I need to get the wood. I don't like getting wood without Jermaine being there. So I might just need to wait and just get the flat piece yeah let's see how that works but in the meanwhile i can manage the wreath by myself so i'm gonna get some florals later on today and try to revamp that same wreath that's up my front door okay so i'll talk to you guys later time to go work out
frequency is everywhere. It is all around us. Even now, in this very room, you can see it when you look out your window or when you turn on your television. You can feel it when you go to work, when you go to church, when you pay your taxes. Jamar said we needed eggs and milk. Yeah, they're around here. Too heavy. Do the do the um whipped cream. Okay guys, so here's the deal. I need to post something on Instagram today. I post every other day and today's a day for me to post. And, and I'm gonna do a reel showing three ways to style your maxi dress. And I'm having the Barbie um, music playing in the background because it's a Barbie reel, okay? So that's what I'm gonna shoot right now and I'm going to also edit it and post it right after. Um, reels are pretty easy for me to edit, so it's no big deal but I just need to shoot it. So I'm going to do some quick makeup and then I'm gonna shoot it in my living room. And I just wanted to let you guys know that's what I'm up to. My husband told me not to bother with a DIY lamp this week. So I got stuff to make my wreath. So I'm gonna work on my wreath as my DIY for this week. Because my theme on Instagram is home and lifestyle. I have not been doing much home, um, reels or videos of late so i'm trying to balance it out so and the skin one it's not really due that campaign is not due until the 22nd of august not that i'm gonna push it because the bathroom is kind of set up for it and i can't have the bathroom stay that way so i need to get that done tomorrow as well but that's pretty easy it's just face and i'm using the product and i already shot some other shots for that and i'm just gonna do the performance part now where my face shows so that's what I'm up to, guys. I'm pretty excited. I feel a little, I feel productive content creation wise today. So let me keep that vibe and see what happens. So I'm sure it's literally on the chair, sitting down. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, that's where my computer is.
Okay guys, hello, hello, hello. Good afternoon. It's 2.37 p.m. on a Sunday afternoon. I have been up and doing some stuff. I've been busy cleaning up Jermaine and I because he's not working today. And you saw that little montage of me making coffee earlier. Well, cappuccino earlier. And yeah, last night we went out just to have a little date night and it was really nice. We had seafood at Papadou's. I think I just showed you. But anywho, today's a new day. Yesterday I got to shoot that reel. I told you I was shooting another Barbie reel. So I did that and that's up. I didn't get to take behind the scenes shots but you'll see on the screen that's the dress that I was modeling I pretty much was showing four ways to style the one maxi dress from Amazon and yeah this is a dress it's really nice guys I will give I will leave the link below so you guys can purchase one if you're interested um, so that was that reel I didn't get to shoot anything else yesterday so today I'm hoping to do the wreath that's what's up so I will talk to you guys later I'm gonna have to cook clearly and there's some more stuff that we're working on but i will get back at it okay so i decided to work on my diy wreath i wanted to make it a little different so instead of using the traditional round shape and instead of using the original wreath form that i had i decided when i went into the dollar green that i was going to pick up some thin canvases and create a, a rectangular shape wreath something minimalistic but eye-catching on the front door so basically the elements are this home sign i'm using the thin canvases and i'm using some grass mats some um, beige cream roses and some additional greens. That's basically it. I'm using tie straps and I'm using uh, E6000 glue to put a backing for support at the back of the canvases. And that's it. If you watch the reel, you will kind of see a snippet of everything to the end.
then right after I decided I was going to shoot the skincare reel, guys, I was on a roll. So I went in the powder room and I got the Bye Bye Blemish campaign closed out. After that, I just edited it and that was it. I'm done with that brand. And yeah, so I feel um, like I've accomplished something. Hey guys, good morning, happy, well, it's not your Monday, but it's Monday morning, 9, 10 a.m. And I just went to run a little errand real quick. My son says he's gonna make breakfast, so I just went to get him some stuff to make pancakes and whatever. But anyways, it's a new week. I have to claim this week and be productive this week so I am going to have to make some calls do some little personal business for the family and get to work so let's address the elephant in the room yes my new headphones <laughs> your girl got some new beats man I am gonna need this for the gym guys the only other thing I'm missing for the gym are some gloves because when I'm lifting, I'm squeezing my hands. And guys, can you believe I hurt my groin last week at the gym? I I think I overdid it on one of the machines and my groin is killing me. I couldn't go to church yesterday because I was limping. So that's not so good, but I'm taking some painkillers and I'm trying to rest it, so... Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, but I'm really super proud. Well, not proud. I'm happy. I got these with the Amazon Prime on sale. Yeah, it sounds really good. Two uses. I can use it to when I'm editing and I'm making all this noise and everybody's like, turn that down, turn that down. So when I'm editing, I can use it. When I'm at the gym, I can use it to listen to music. And when I am voicing, recording songs for my band, I can use it and yeah my new beats so guys i am going inside the house right now and oh i did my skincare reel i just posted it and i'm almost done with my wreath i don't know if i can squeeze in a few moments today's a packed one i'm probably not gonna get to do because i have to do my appraisal recording but i'm halfway through my wreath Okay guys, so just the easy part left, some tie strapping and embellishments and making it look pretty. So I'm almost done with my wreath. That's supposed to be my post for Wednesday. And yeah, I have two ways to style my planter. I don't know if I'm gonna do that for Friday post or I'm going to do a food post or drink, but whichever. But guys, I will see you. Okay, so I'm just gonna um, take out the first item, which is our robe short set. I will show you in the next vlog how it looks, but basically it's pink. I don't remember ordering pink, but I guess I did. But the material is so nice and fuzzy and feels like a towel. So that's um, what's in that bag right there. But the rest of the Timo haul, I perhaps will probably do a video just for that. But you will see the campaign and the videos that I create for Timo.
Okay guys, it's Monday afternoon, 5.15 p.m. I'm taking Jada to gymnastics. And I just wanted to jump on here to let you know that it was literally 109 degrees just now. It's ridiculous. I have some orange trees right here. And it's just hot, okay? Um, the AC in the car is like maxed out right now and we're trying to keep cool. Just pray for us here in the Texas heat. Hope you like my makeup amidst all that sun and I did my recording on the outside. I think I'm getting better at this. Let me know what you think in the comments. Am I getting better at the makeup situation? Let me know. So guys, the way how the sun is blazing, I have my phone. I'm using my phone right now and my phone is on uh, mount that's attached to this, the windscreen of the car. And I'm going, I cannot be on this clip for long because after a while the phone overheats and I have to take it on. That's how hot it is. I just wanted to bring that to your attention that wherever you are, that it's not this hot, give thanks. But I'm not complaining because I love Texas and the good outweigh the bad. And I'm not a girl for the winter cold weather. I'll take the sun any day over the winter, okay? And turn my AC on. So, giving thanks despite the heat. And I just want to let you know that um, it's real. The struggle is real because I'm going to have to take my phone down from up there. It's a good thing I'm go not going somewhere that I need directions because if the phone stays up there, it's going to get hot. Like, this has happened before. You know how, how the iPhone shows it is thermometer to say take your to let your phone cool down right now it's overheated that's gonna happen in a couple of minutes if i don't remove my phone from where it is right now recording me so i just wanted to bring that to your to your attention but i refuse to complain because i will take the summer over the winter all day at least we get some um some winter weathers it's not for long i will get some cold weather too in the fall so i'm not complaining i love my texas i'll stay here <laughs> okay guys Feelings, you shut out them quickly. I let you. It's easier to fight them, but I know. I give you everything I am. You throw it away like it's nothing. It's easier to fight them, but I know. You're so inside the agony. Stop for a second, breathe I'd turn it all around if I could But I know it's not enough I've been trying to reach you, baby I lose my mind You've been kind of see-through lately But you're good for me Cause every time you hurt me, I go now
something try to reach you baby to understand it better baby tonight you're struggling to see what i'm doing did i take a bullet for you it's easy i don't let go thank you for staying with me towards the end of this vlog we are going into the movies together as a family we're gonna watch ninja turtles just chill out have some food i just want to say thank you for staying with me on this vlog thanks for being a part of the aria lifestyle family and if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever new videos are uploaded you will be notified Thank you so much once again. Thanks for watching. Love you. Peace out.